never, ever, 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 ever worked even one day in a strip club. A month ago when they came out with the the, the, the er er totally ludicrous and erroneous kind of lies that I um, wanted to look like her, who? Her? Well, there's a segment of the same article, too. I have no interest in any celebrities at all, and I feel like a broken record saying this over. So this is the last time I'm ever going to repeat this. I do not look like this woman, nor would I want to look like this woman. No offense to her personally. I have reasons why I wouldn't want to look like her. I don't know who would, but she's just a normal person like everyone else. I'm not going to say, I'm not going to be disparaging in any way because I think people need to leave her alone. They need to leave him alone. They need to leave them alone. I don't even know who they are. They need to leave her alone. They need to leave people alone. Anyway, I don't read these things. Okay, I try to avoid as much as I can. I turn them around. Um, and she said there was a really bad article in here. So, of course, I'm tempted. I open it up. And I see this, and I look at this, and I've never seen these humans in my life. And then all of a sudden, it says, Secrets Over Past Revealed. Then it's stating that, according to this man, Gunnar Reed, who I've never met in my entire life, I've never met any of these people, my supposed, he's claiming to be a boss at the Spearmint Rhino, Star and Garter it's now called. Um, I've never even encountered in person, I've never even met a stripper, any stripper in my life. I, not only have I never, I've never worked as one, I've never met a stripper. Now, what about the documents that they show? Okay, that's what I didn't understand. This is like, what? This is too completely out of my mind. I can't understand this. This is not in touch with reality right here. <laughs> so I don't understand. So I'm trying to figure out why they're lying. So then I look over here, and remember, on the Dr. Phil show, I had signed this, um, I don't know, not a consent, but this something together. We signed this amendment or something. And, it, well, I signed it with Angels in Waiting. See, my end goes up at the end, so it usually does. And I found out later that this is all over. It becomes public public record. And then I'm thinking, and my friends are thinking, and my family, this is in, this is in, this is very dangerous, because anyone could, you know, commit identity fraud, or they could say I worked for them doing, you know, who knows what, like for example. And then I realized they forged my signature. That's not my signature. So and you that think shocks they found me. Those documents. And of course, to... of course, absolutely. Okay, well, the only thing I ever did was 100 years, it feels like 100 years ago. <laughs> I was like barely 19, and I wanted to kind of get out of my shell. I was always very shy. You no, know, I had never, I hadn't dated. I, didn't, we, I entered, my friends talked me into entering this laundry contest at a um, nightclub, just a nightclub. And I said, I was clothed, you know, and I won, and I won. Now, if they forged your signature, are you going to right. any legal action? Um, yeah, most likely. Yeah, my have you filed attorney any? is is in the process of okay. doing that, right? And this man, who I dropped, is um, really intelligent to have his picture there and his real name. So, Mr. Gunner Reed, you will be in the midst of a lawsuit, pending lawsuit. So, thanks for putting your picture and your name there. Thank you.